Just mind-blowingly frightening. Is Debbie somehow generating lethal amounts of electricity? If so, how? And why? Incredibly, she isn't the only one suffering from this bizarre affliction. Thousands of others have it too, and it's even been given a name. Street light interference syndrome. Those who have it are called sliders. Water sliders, and where do they get their supercharged powers? Are they a threat to themselves, or even us? Bill Beatty is an electrical engineer. He thinks he can explain sliders. I um, first heard about this um, in the 80s, and I started wondering, are they some kind of um, electric generator? Could sliders like Debbie actually be generating their own electricity? How could she do it? Beatty thinks her power could be an extension of something we've all experienced. So if you scuff on the rug and touch a doorknob and you hear that little click, that's static electricity. The effect is caused by your body being charged. Rubbing your feet steals negatively charged electrons from the carpet. With each step, you steal more electrons and develop more of a negative charge. Something easily detected with a voltmeter. If I scuff on the rug, watch what happens. I'm scuffing my shoe. Oh, and they're all they're all turning on and off. But could this build up enough charge to affect a street light? Beatty believes sliders could generate large amounts of static electricity in another way. Well, there's one thing that um, humans do which might explain this, and that's um, breathing. Every day, humans take over 25,000 breaths. Remarkably, Beatty thinks it's possible we can steal a few electrons from the air each time we breathe in and eventually supercharge our bodies. If you can charge your body up by breathing, you have this field, invisible field of voltage around your body that can affect electronic devices, even from a few feet away. But if everyone breathes air, why would only a few people, like Debbie, turn into human lightning bugs? There's a chance of that it could be a virus that hasn't been discovered yet. There are a few viruses that they're not like the flu or colds. Instead, when you catch it, there's almost um, no change. Could some yet-to-be-discovered virus alter the lungs of sliders just enough to strip electrons from the air and turn them into supercharged humans? Or is Beatty's theory a few connections short of a circuit? Well, I was attracted to it because it's weird, but the vast, unstudied collection of weird things, some of those are real, and those are Nobel Prize discoveries. So let me get this right. Sliders have an innate ability to wreak havoc on electrical goods especially uh, street lights, right? And one guy thinks the reason they can do this is there's a virus going around that can supercharge your body as you breathe. Nothing. Can't we come up with a better explanation? I mean, when it comes to electrical faults, isn't it just a matter of some dummy doing something stupid? 